everyone. Uh, our next presenter is Dr. Vikas Nanwana. He's an inventor and entrepreneur in the field of functional nanomaterials and is currently a research associate in the Department of Material Science and Engineering at Northwestern University. Vikas is particularly interested in applied research-led entrepreneurship that can convert laboratory bench inventions into commercialized technologies. Yeah, we'd all like to see that. Um, his uh, presentation today is on oleophilic, hydrophobic, and magnetic sponge, a versatile, efficient, and eco-friendly oil spill remediation platform. So I see you, Vikas. Okay. Um, can I share the start? Okay. We're not seeing your presentation. There you go. It's coming up. All right. Put it okay. in presentation. There you go. All right. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, so thank you, Alan, for the introduction. Uh, my name is Vikas, and uh, today I'll be introducing Home Sponge. Uh, I think uh, I, Amy touched a bit uh, on the sorbents section earlier, and and this is kind of a continue follow up for that. And so, Home Sponge is one of the reusable sorbent, new generation of sorbent, which which provide a variety of applications actually, and can be useful. So, before I once I start, I want to start with this NSF video which was featured, uh, uh, this home sponge was featured on National Science Foundation. So um, I think, uh, let me do one thing. I need to uh, share the, the screen also, yeah. Hello. Um, can you see my screen? Uh, we were looking at your desktop picture there for a while, but I think you're about ready to play the video. Is it okay? Oh, yeah. 10 years ago, a powerful explosion destroyed an oil rig in the Gulf of Mexico. The Deepwater Horizon well dumped an estimated 168 million gallons of oil and 45 million gallons of natural gas into the ocean, making it the largest accidental marine spill in history. The event sparked a nationwide call for more research into oil spills and their impacts on our oceans, environment, and lives. Studies over the last decade have advanced our knowledge of oil spills, resulting in novel applications of emerging technologies. One brand new technology is Northwestern University's Smart Sponge. This highly porous sponge has a nanocomposite coating of magnetic nanostructures that attracts oil and resists water. The coating can be applied to any cheap household sponge and binds with oil molecules, capturing and storing the oil in the sponge until it is squeezed out. The smart sponge can absorb more than 30 times its weight in oil and can be reused up to several dozen times without harming marine life. The National Science Foundation funded team says right now the smart sponge can be used effectively to remove pollutants and toxins in water and soil. It can also clean up smaller oil spills in a more economical, efficient and eco-friendly manner, helping to protect ecosystems and surrounding communities. So uh, basically the ohm sponge is, is nothing but a commercially available sponge with a magic coating, which is basically based on a nanostructures. So this, na this, this coating, particular coating provide oleophilic, hydrophobic and magnetic effect. So because of this oleophilic nature, it selectively removes oil from any oil water mixture. It could be a just simple oil spill or it could be an immersion also. So as soon as the oil interacts with the sponge, it is, it is absorbed into the sponge, but the sponge does not interact with water. As you can see in the bottom picture, the water droplets are, because the sponge is so hydrophobic, water doesn't interact and it makes a completely uh, droplet here, but the oil is, it cannot be seen because completely absorbed. So the good thing about this, uh, the coating is it is made of, very cost-effective materials. It's it's made of basically iron and carbon, and uh, and the 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 slurry what we use to coat the sponge is aqueous slurry, so so it does not involve any organic solvents or any harmful methods. It's made from very uh, safe materials methods, and 
the good thing is that because we are not using any burning or any dispersant for oil spills so it's kind of a eco eco friendly solution um, for oil spills and uh, the good and the last thing is it's reusable we can reuse it many number of times uh, just keep absorbing and recovering the oil so the way we make it is we just take the base sponge and the sponge could be anything it could be polyurethane it could be cellulose or it could be uh, melamin and then we coat a slurry which is a composite of a iron and carbon it's a it's a nano composite so you can see a layered structure it's a very thin layered structure it's 100 nanometer you can see the scale and the nano particles are anchored to this this carbon material and that that slurry is coated on a substrate in a simple dip coating method and that generates basically ohm sponge and you can see in the the right side this is a scanning electron microscope image of the sponge this is the blank sponge and the the right one is the 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 coated sponge which is basically ohm sponge so it's a very very thin coating if you see a cross section image of electron microscope less than a micron of the thickness uh, coating is uh, coated on the 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 base sponge so overall the the weight of the sponge does not significantly increase within basically within 5% we can have a coating uh, and very uniform coating on the sponge and then it dramatically change its property this is the x-ray diffraction which shows the carbon and iron uh, presence on the sponge and this is the blank sponge this is the electron diffraction data so this is uh, all of this characterize that the sponge has a uniform coating of iron and carbon based slurry so this is the way basically it works uh, the sponge when you put this in the, any oil water where oil is dyed red here you it can absorb and you can selectively remove it again and then again you can do the cycle many number of times and then you can just keep reusing this uh, the ohm sponge the sponge is also hydrophobic so it can actually pull the oil from even beneath the surface of the water it doesn't interact with uh, water it just takes the oil and finally it is magnetic it is an additional advantage uh, we have lately we have developed the sponges without magnetic nanoparticle also and it it works fine too this is just an additional advantage it provides that it can be controlled by external magnetic fields also and then the as i mentioned the the sponge is made by the slurry we have developed a method in our lab, lab where we can generate this slurry in a large production actually so we have a flow reactor which produces this slurry so you can see that in 30 minutes we can produce almost 4.5 liter 9 liter of slurry in one hour so that is enough to actually absorb almost 400 liter of oil and if we talk about the size if we just take a standard 10 cm by 10 cm by 1 cm sheet of sponge we can generate like 800 sheets uh, of ohm sponge like this and this method is very scalable since it's based on the dip dip coating we have produced uh, really large sheets also uh, all it requires is a roller and a slurry and then we can use any sponge to coat uh, and generate the ohm sponge we have been uh, recently producing a, a sheets of 3 ft by 3 ft uh, to demonstrate a test so if we talk about the competitors i think uh, the the best advantage of the sorbents i mean sorry the ohm sponge is it is uh, it is very selective it can selectively take the the oil from water apart from being usable reusable and oil being recovered that's the additional advantage it's very low cost method actually because uh, it's made of just iron and carbon and basic sponge it select it absorbs the oil very fast and then it doesn't it doesn't harm any marine life or doesn't generate any carbon emission actually so that's why we call it it's very economic it's efficient and as well as it's eco friendly we have done some comparison with the the commercial sorbent out there uh in a in a marketing study and what we found is the cost of the the sponge per sheet compared to other polypropylene or other sorbents is significantly low because of 
the low material uh, because the low cost material we use as well as uh, uh, compare if you compare the efficiency also uh, while the sorbents can absorb 5 to 10 times we can go more than 30 times the capacity uh, as well as we can recover it also so then there are some emerging competitors which are also as amy mentioned that there were there are some sorbents which are produced in the lab scale research lab uh, like oleo sponge or carbon nanotubes but the cost of the production or the material could be large uh, compared to what we are producing ours is uh, we are using very environmental benign material like iron and carbon and coating methods such as just dip coating that makes our material very scalable compared to the another emerging competitors this is uh, some of the studies we have done with the ohm sponge it it works with most of the oils these are the lab based uh, oils from low very low boiling point to high boiling point and uh, we have successfully removed all of the oils from water mixture and then we can selectively reuse this so this is the cycle we have done up to 30 times also uh, the oil mass of the what what you see in the right is the mass absorption capacity so that is basically number of times of the weight it can absorb the oil so 30 is the average number what we get and you can see that even if you reuse this cycle many 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 times it doesn't the capacity does not significantly change even uh, after 10 cycles ohm sponge works on any ph so we have worked with ph 1 to ph 13 uh, water and even it works for uh, in the same capacity uh, regardless of any ph whether it's acidic or basic and finally in the salinity also we have tested up to 1 molar sal salinity the ocean salinity is 0.6 molar so we have gone almost double than that and still uh, ohm ohm sponge uh, there is no change in the capacity of working in the uh, uh, different kind of salinity also so then we have worked with the some of the uh, our collaborators in chevron and we were able to arrange some crude oils with them and we have tested five crude oils depend it varies in the viscosity as well as density so west test west texas blend is the the low low very low viscous and the azerbaijan is the highly viscous and we have more or less got selected i mean we have absorbed all of the oil the numbers capacity you see different is because of the the weight of the oil because this is very less viscous so it 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 doesn't hold that much in the volume similar volume as this much but it works with all of the oils also in the crude oils so so that was the that was a really good test to show that it can be worked with the crude oil as well as the regular synthetic or processed oils the way we we envision the ohm sponge deployment or oil spill response uh, we can provide this in a three different way one is what it can be used as ohm boom so instead of a conventional boom uh, the material can be filled with the ohm sponge uh, that allows not only containment but the absorb absorption oil in a very high efficiency then there can also be used to complement the skimmers so if you if the skimmer belts can be replaced by the ohm sponge the efficiency can be significantly increased in that case and then third it can be used as a sorbent pads as was discussed in the pre previous presentation um, and it provides a reusable sorbent method and recovery of oil so this is uh, this is kind of similar to the previous slide uh, the questions have arrived like people always ask this question that how can this be deployed so we envision as we just like on shore if it could be used just like a sorbent pads ohm sponge but we can recover that oil and we can reuse it we can put the skimmer belts we can replace this belts with the with ohm sponge and then just like dispersion it can be air dropped and collected mechanically or magnetically and then finally we are working on a concept with the autonomous boats where we can have this uh, sponge Uh, built up on a on a on a gizmo which can just autonomously rotate and and collect the oil and automatically squeeze and recover the oil as well 
now what we have done is by since the the functional functionality of those ohm sponge comes on the by the just by the coating we have been exploring various different coatings and that has resulted in a a platform rather than just a particular product now what we are expanding is we are expanding to a different coating which can have affinity for different pollutants that's why uh, we have been able to generate various coatings that can pull the pollutants not only for just from water but it can also do it from soil and as well as air because the it has a tremendous porosity you can have a very high efficiency efficiency of absorb pollutants and these pollutants then can be recovered by external stimulus and then you can reuse this this functional sponge and you can recover that pollutant and then that can be into recycled into another product so for example this platform we have expanded into a membrane so this is a oil water separation membrane so that is particularly for minority oil for, suppose in case of fracking water we have oil which is in minority like ppm levels we have also shown that this the same sponge if you convert into a membrane it can actually pull that uh, uh, it can reduce that 1000 ppm level to 5 ppm level similarly if you change the coating we can also pull this excess nutrients uh, from agricultural runoffs and we are also working on heavy metal toxin because when there is a oil spill always it also occurs there are possible that heavy metals and toxins are also present in that uh and then finally recently we started with microplastics uh to commercialize this uh, sponge we have we, i have i along with a professor vinayak dravid we have co-founded a startup it's called mfns tech uh, and the sole purpose of uh, this is to commercialize this own sponge products um uh, and if you would like more details you're welcome to visit the site it's mfnstech.com out the execution strategy what we have been doing is we have been already contacting oil spill response company and the skimmer manufacturer and getting a feedback from them also we have got the we have been working with the uh, oil companies like chevron uh, and uh, and then we have got some invited talk uh, from us coast guard blue technology group uh, dr peter and jennifer invited us to present we presented our work there as well as dr uh, miss uh, carol bailey from icopar and now she is in epa uh, there also we presented our work uh, we have been working attending this conferences and uh, to execute this uh, to to produce this in a commercial manner to establish this as a product uh, so this would conclude my talk one thing i would like to say is that we are scheduled to perform the omset testing on uh, march 22nd to 26 uh, and would like i would like to thank uh, northwestern university uh, the center nuance center we have we have done a lot of characterization work and then we this our company which is taking license this technology and commercializing into the the products right now this is uh, very special because national science foundation actually featured this our research uh, om sponge on the front page uh, opening page uh, on their on june 5th uh, and uh, along with that uh, uh, i would conclude uh, i think uh, this that om sponge is a, a revolutionary oil spill uh, platform uh, i the say the reason i say platform is because we are expanding not just up to oil spill but beyond beyond the oil spill also and like toxins and nutrients and microplastic and uh, in the end i would just like to share some media coverage we received uh, in last few months uh, and uh, that concludes my talk and i'd be happy to answer any questions thank you i think it was some of that media coverage especially science daily where i first heard of your um, your product and your approach Um, I think I think it's a, an exciting approach, and um, interested in seeing how it moves um, moves further ahead for you and for the rest of us. Do we have any questions, Lindsay, for Vegas? No open questions. Okay, I guess we'll let you go.
Right. Thank you for joining us. Sure. Thank you very much.